Hello everyone and welcome to the 3D Printer Vlog. This is your host Michael and today we are continuing our efforts to finish this thing finally. <laughs> Okay, so as you can see, I have the frame ripped out here. I installed the Z motor spacer mounts. They're like five, I got a five millimeter spacers on these suckers here now. Also, I printed out a few more of these. As I said in the last vlog, I need to reinforce on these corners here. It's the uh, top corners. So I got to rip this thing apart even more. But before I can do that, I'm going to go ahead and take measurements to get the, um, the actual plexi panels installed on this thing. I got some of these cutting bits from the hardware store, specifically for plexiglass for a jigsaw, which I have a jigsaw at the office. So tomorrow I will be doing that. Also do want to uh, mention that I did get the other printer up and running. It is running great now with those modifications. Still printing our surpri my surprise project here. so. That should be coming in shortly. So I have figured out the measurements for the sides and the front. Now, of course, with the front, I'm gonna have to like design some sort of door here, which is gonna get a little bit tricky, but I'll figure something out here. Now, the trickiest parts are going to be designing the back panel, which I kind of, I think I have a plan in motion for that, as well as a top panel. That's gonna be the trickiest thing to do. Although I'm probably just going to figure out some sort of a hack method to do it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this baby around. Oh, just slinging things everywhere. What I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to leave some gaps here. Now I'm going to put spacers on this. The end stop is going to have to be avoided this particular area here. And then these tracks, basically anything here can be walled off but this must be left open, which will create some thermal issues. However, we're gonna be able to isolate enough to where we're not gonna have a whole lot of trouble. So that'll be good. Okay, so there we go. We got our back plane planned out. We're gonna be losing about 100 millimeter space well, from here to here, which isn't too bad. I think that's 40, that's about 60 there. And that's um, 30 right there, tops are losing, which eh, not too bad in terms of thermal gap, I guess. I mean, the room will get pretty heated up with, with two printers in there, so not a huge deal. We got four of the walls taken care of. The bottom one, gonna measure out here real quick. All right, so I went ahead and hashed out the numbers for the bottom and the sides of the beds here. As for the top, I don't know exactly how I'm gonna be lining everything up here, so I'm probably gonna be just having a bunch of reflectics at the top shelf above the actual printer and then just kind of having like a, making a hood out of this essentially. Of course, as for the bottom, we're gonna have this, this part will be uh, sealed off, this part will be open. This is where the electronics will stay and of course, I might be able to shove the power supply in there. Depends, uh, just gonna have to see exactly how everything lines up, so. Yep, uh, definitely excited to get that going here. Still gonna print out the box for the electronics as well as like the LCD panel and all that good, st or the thing that holds the LCD panel. Although with the front plexiglass, I might just, you know, might just be its own little unit here. We'll have to see how everything plays out. Another thing is, is once I get this printer done, I'm probably gonna print out a smaller printer and use parts that I already have. I'm just gonna call it like the rep scrap project. So that's another little thing that'll come in the near future. I don't know if I'm gonna do it immediately. It depends um, how much demand I have for a third 3D printer, but I definitely have room for more, at least up to four to five total inside that like bathroom, uh, whatever you wanna call it, shelf unit. <laughs> so tomorrow night, I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting the plexiglass. Gonna get that taken care of, at least the five sides, I hope. I have enough. I mean, I have a pretty big piece over there. Another thing I'm I'm considering doing is like printing off like little magnet mounts for everything. What I'll do is instead of just having the plexiglass permanent so I can easily access and service a printer without unscrewing things because unscrewing things with this bar and like these square nuts, like these move around and it's a right pain to get everything going. I got a bunch of really strong neodymiums. They are right here. So yeah, we're gonna do that there. Let's go ahead and cut to me slicing these uh, windows here. 
All right, folks, it's day two here. I had to sand down another screw for the extruder and we got some pieces cut, but yep, got some uh, plexiglass pieces mostly cut out. I need to get the Dremel tool, I forgot it. Just had the uh, jigsaw with a plexi cutting bit. It's okay for long cuts, terrible for everything else. So that's all the stuff I'm doing in the uh, workshop today. So let's go ahead and cut back to the actual studio. All right, folks, back in the studio here. Sorry if the audio is crappy, got the vent running in the back. Um, gonna re just had a chance to regroup, uh, printing off some other extra little bits in the 3D printer for this printer here. And I have found my Dremel and plenty, sorry for the terrible lighting, plenty of these little guys, these little cutoff discs. So I'm gonna go ahead and head back to the office and finish up those plexiglass windows there because why not? Um, I'm kind of waiting on other things. So the reason I'm waiting on this is because I had to disassemble most of the frame. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be putting in little uh, little screws or bits of metal that are mag that are uh, ferrix, and of course I'm going to put magnets on the plexiglass so I can take off the plexiglass if I want to service the machine. So that's what I'm planning right now. Is I'm printing off plenty of little uh, T or. I don't know, little nuts that'll go, captive nuts that'll go inside of these channels here that I'll be able to screw with a more common screw than this, which I don't have a lot of, and they're very expensive, so I don't want to order a whole lot more. Yeah, it's going to be at least another hour until those little uh, nuts, captive nuts, can print off. Also, I have successfully built the actual extruder assembly. I'm going to go ahead and shovel to the office and print, oh, cut out the plexiglass, so see you later. All right, folks, we're back at the office here. I have started, I uh, got one of these panels done here. I've just been dremeling it. Unfortunately, my dremels, I've had it for about 10, a little over 10 years here, so it's pretty tired here. I'm just letting it cool down right now. Um, also, I will uh, be posting a video here real soon of this thing in action, my little screw sander. Uh, I definitely, I'll probably put a link in the description here as I'll probably be releasing this here soon. But yet there's the side here. Getting some chips on the edges, that eh, sucks. I mean, I think I got another one while trying to cut everything proper on that side. Um, I think an, another one occurred while I was doing this. Yeah, right here. Sucks, but this stuff is way too thin. This is a 0 0.08 inches. I got it at Lowe's and I mean, it works, but it is extremely brittle and extremely tough to cut, so. Um, if I would rec I'd recommend getting a lot thicker material. It's a little more expensive, but it's worth the investment. I'm probably going to go with ABS for like the final design. Another thing is, as I was about to go out, thank goodness I checked it. But um, yeah, I was about to head out to get these this stuff dremeled here. And I accidentally forgot to switch out the filament because I, I didn't really realize I was running out. But yeah, I was definitely running out of filament. And midway through that print for those little uh, captive nuts for the frames. Yeah, the actual uh, print just stopped <laughs> extruding material because, hey, there was no material left. The spool is empty. This is my second spool because of my big project I'm printing here, which, yeah, um, it's coming along here. I'm gonna, spoiler, I'm going to need to get this printer done to finish that project. So that's gonna be the big reveal. When I finish the printer, <laughs> I'll probably be, That'll be one of, well, I'll do like a small test print, but yeah, like second or third print will be that those gigantic pieces of this new project I have. That is all cut. I'm gonna take that back home with me. I used the Dremel bit, it was overheating, so I switched back to the jigsaw. I was going too slow, I had it like the lowest speed. Um, basically, what I figured out is the higher the speed you go, the uh, more it's gonna melt, the lower the speed you go, it's going to crack. So you kind of had to pick a balance out the, with the skill cheapo jigsaw. It was like number four was pretty good. I got a few little cracks, but nothing too crazy. So overall, great success. Um, the parts, they look kind of crappy. There's a lot of chips and cracks along the edges, but they will work and it is a, not, it is a prototype. So I'm not really care. I don't really care too much about the aesthetics. Plus, I'm gonna put you know uh, reflectix and stuff over it. But yeah, this is just the basic uh, outside casing here. I'm gonna get out of here because I think I breathed in too many uh, 
plexiglass fumes and oh, it's really getting to my head here so let's go ahead and go back to the studio all right folks we're back at home base here got our pieces probably gonna clean them up tomorrow i think uh, i'm gonna wrap it up for the night here I'm gonna get the footage process all that good jazz and the uh, little scoop up things are almost done so that's cool can't wait for that all to finish up here yeah, they're looking pretty good so all right folks just want to thank you all for watching here if you like the video go ahead and hit that like button consider subscribing and check out some other videos here as well mm -hmm.